This is Dr. Cavill, the executive director of the Ben L. Cowell Senior Big Ben HBCU Football Award. We are here with the winner of the Big Ben, as you see the trophy here, Jonte Abair, as well as the finalist, Trey Green, the quarterback, running back, all specialists. And we're, uh, first, let's talk about your season. You had a great season in terms of what you're able to do, resurrecting the program, look for big things to happen. Let's start with you, Trey Green. What were your thoughts about the season? Uh, I feel like we had a phenomenal season, you know, going 92. A lot of people didn't expect us to go 92. We was picked third in our division, which was, I don't understand why people picked us third, but overall, we, I feel like we did great this year, you know. Offense played good, defense played good, special teams. The whole nine yards, we did a great job, and I just thank my teammates for us going 92. Like you said, 92, 8 and 1 in the conference race. Uh, really superb, finishing second in the division, just outside of the top spot in a State Fair Classic. Close competitive game there, if you think about it, high scoring. And you were that trigger man. But then your teammate to the right, Jonta Abair, really made a lot of things go. Talk about uh, his experience on the field and what he brought to the table for you. Uh, you know, me being a junior, you know, this is my first year really starting and having a senior at a running back makes my life easy, you know, N knowing that I could just hand the ball off, he goes 70 yards, 80 yards, which is just a great pleasure to have in the backfield. Not too many people in, in the United States that have a running back that can just strike from any distance. That's so cool. with him being in the backfield, it just makes his offense go. He's he's, the, he's really the trigger man of this offense. Definitely, and you always talk about I know you're not about awards, but in this case, now everything's kind of complete, at least for this season for you. How does it feel to be a finalist for the NL Cowboys Senior HBCU Football Award? I feel like, you know, it's a great honor to be anywhere, you know, after the phenomenal season we had. I just want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to be a finalist in this award. So just just keep going. You know, next year, hopefully I can win the award. But as of right now, I'm just thankful to be a finalist. I'm sure you'll be a finalist next year the way things keep going for you and definitely be in position to win the award next year. I just want to say thank you for giving us the opportunity to provide you with the award with all your accolades, including what you do off the field. People don't understand uh, that you're very serious about what you do academically uh, in terms of your professionalism and the way that you lead this team. So I want to say thank you. Continue the great work. And we look forward to see what you're going to do next year. Yes, with that, let's look at John T. Abair in terms of what you brought to the table senior season. We got the interview you coming into the season talking about what were your expectations for the season. And you said that. You said it was all about the team, that you were getting a lot of accolades, but you wanted to see the team do well. Well, you were a large part of that, along with Trey Green that got that done, and you got this team uh, to 9-2, 8-1 in the conference, uh, Mark, including a huge win over Southern back home in Baton Rouge. Talk about this season and particularly that game. Well, I don't know. This season, um, it was something I totally I didn't expect. Um, I couldn't have called it a 9-2, 8-1 finishing record. Uh, That's fair. But what I can say is these guys, when we came together, uh, we changed just just the way we looked at the game, the way we practiced, the way we played, the way we felt about each other. Just, you know what I'm saying, we, we all came together and we made a change. And I, I'm extremely proud of everybody from top to bottom, um, from starters to non-starters. Uh, travel guys to practice squad, just it was amazing. Um, as far as the Southern game, um, coming into the game, as a senior class, we you know we felt like we dropped the ball the past two years against Southern. Um, we dropped one mm -hmm. at home here last year, and the year before we we lost a double overtime game in Baton Rouge. So heartbreak. I was there. Um, for the senior class, we we just spoke it on upon the young guys to to go out and get they all for us this year. You know what I'm saying? And we was going to give our all for them. And take my hat off to them guys. They sold out for us just as much as we sold out for them. I love it. With that, let's talk about your quarterback, Trey Green. He's coming back. Tell us about what made him so smooth this year and your expectations for him next year and um, the team. What made him smooth was him. I mean, I feel like Trey Green came in and, and he didn't do anything that no one you know what I'm saying, didn't expect him to do uh, anything that we didn't know he could do. He came in and, and he played his game. I was actually shocked that he came in and he was so calm under pressure and the way he just moved around back there. Um, and the way he, he led us, like he, he led us how, how quarterback um, supposed to lead his team. My expectations for him next year is just over the top. Like, I, I know, you know what I'm saying, I, I know Bring what he can ship. do, I know what he, what he will do. I don't expect anything less of a championship. I'm, I'm calling it right now. 
uh, Offensive Player of the Year. He will lead this team to a championship. I like it. You heard that, and you've seen that without a smile. Are you serious? With that, uh, appreciate you and your honesty just breaking down Trey Green and giving some of your fans the opportunity to see your thoughts on it. Final question I have for you, um, final two questions. Let's talk about your coach. Coach Simmons coming in here, Coach Willie Simmons coming in here and really changing the culture and was the leader in regards to getting, getting you to this 9 and 2 8 1 season. Talk a little bit about your thoughts about Coach Willie Simmons. Man, um, amazing, basically. I don't know what it is about him, but he, he got that charisma to him, uh, the way you just you want to follow him. You know, he came in and it's just like from day one, he didn't force anything upon us. Uh, he didn't try to force a dominance or a presence upon us. He just came in and, and he just did his thing. And I don't know, just his charisma just took over. We, we led everything he asked us to do, everything he said that he needed us to do, we did it for him. Fascinating. Final question with this one is, is obviously you're not a guy that carries a lot of attention to yourself, although your skill sets brings it naturally. You're up for a lot of other award stats, and you've had awards uh, previous year in regards to what you bring to the table. But this season culminated with the Ben L. Cabo Senior HBC Football Award. As you see in front of you, just talk to us about uh, having the opportunity to win awards such as this. I mean, it's an honor. Um, coming from free every week, we kind of get looked uh, overlooked a lot. Um, Great point. We don't make all conference when we need to. I'm pretty sure everyone knows uh, Trey Green should have been at least second team all conference. Right, uh, but I agree we, with we that. get overlooked a lot here um, from top to bottom. So just being able to be mentioned or, or being up for an award is an honor, and to win it, you know, it's a blessing. That brings one other question. Either one or both of y'all can answer this. What makes Prairie View so special? Since you talk about the fact that sometimes people may overlook you all, the football program, and Prairie View and in general, what makes Prairie View so special? We work. I love it. On that, this is Dr. Cavill with Executive Director of the Ben L. Cowboy Senior HBC Football Award here with Trey Green, Jonte A. Bear, the winner of the Ben L. Cowboy Senior HBC Football Award based on an athlete that has a connection with Texas. And you see these two great athletes represent Prairie and m University to the fullest. With that, sign off. Just wanted to say thank you for watching and you'll see more things coming from us and wish both of y'all the best luck moving forward in the future again thank you for everything that you brought to the table and again i'm signing off dr kenny Alka.